Hey, what's up everybody? This is Chris and my channel Barn on 11970. Thank you for taking the time to check out this video. Um, interesting thing happened to me today. Um, I ended up opening my front door to go out and get the mail. And um, I live in New York and we've gotten tons of snow. It's freezing out. And when I opened the door, all of a sudden a stray cat just walked right in my house. Um, the funny part is it was the most friendliest cat I've ever met. Um, looked like it was two years old. Definitely looked like it was malnourished, didn't have food or water, and um, obviously I have two cats, and those who've been watching my channel for a while know that um, both of my cats were strays, and I took them in, and I just can't afford to have a third cat, and um, couldn't let it in the house, and it was just sitting by my front stoop, like right by the door, crying, and um, it basically just got to my heartstrings, and... Um, Eventually, I got to the point where I was trying to call everybody I could to see if I could find somebody to take this cat. I mean, it was purring nonstop. I mean, considering it's never, I've never seen it before and it's never seen me before. I mean, this cat came right up to me. It was rubbing against me for like 15 minutes outside. It was purring. I mean, it was almost like it was like, it seemed to me like almost like, thank God you're saving my life. And I felt horrible and it was just killing me. Long story short, I ended up, I put it in my basement for the night because uh, the weather reports are saying it's going to be under zero degrees, and um, I don't care how much fur a cat has, that's that's tough. And um, I put some food and water, and as soon as I put it down, it started eating, like, went straight for it. Um, the reason for this is, especially if you live in a cold area, there are a lot of wild stray animals out there, ones that are abandoned. Um, and on cold nights like this, they may not survive. So I'm going to try and see if I can find somebody who's willing to take it that lives, obviously, locally. Uh, so I'm not asking for that here, obviously. But um, I'm going to, if not, we have some uh, no-kill animal rescue places that um, we could bring them to or her to, if the case may be. And I didn't have a lot of money, but I saw on the site they have a donation button. So I, I gave them $10, which may not seem like a big deal. But, you know, it's pretty much all I could afford at the moment. Um, this winter has kind of messed up my businesses, especially doing DJing. You can't DJ in a blizzard or get do massages. So what I'm asking anybody out there, if you have any extra money and you could spare it, if you have a no-kill sh center, animal shelter, anywhere where you live, I would ask as a personal favor, if even if it's a $5 donation to whatever place it is, if you can help them out, because in the wintertime, I'm sure they probably get stray cats and dogs left and right. And um, to me, animals are just, its it pulls my heartstring. So I'm glad to know that even though I can't keep this animal, um, I know it's at least going to be safer tonight downstairs with the food and water. I left it uh, uh, basically that cat bed that my cats won't use. Um, a place to sleep, so at least I know for one night that cat's going to be better off, but I, I just can't keep it. But um, if anybody out there can make any kind of donations to a either wildlife center or a place that just doesn't kill animals to help them be able to continually do amazing work, I would ask as a personal favor to do that because it's just a kind thing and this with so much hatred in the world so much uncertainty with so much selfishness in the world it's nice to know when you can give back and to me it's just animals are just helpless like that cat you know was going from my house the next door back and forth just meowing and crying by the door basically just seemed like it was saying save me and this i've never seen this cat it was a stray cat and when i and after a couple of hours it's like you know what i can't just uh, especially because I couldn't find anybody. I, it's like I can't just let it fend overnight. I just, I myself morally just couldn't allow that to happen. And as soon as I went outside and kind of called for it, it just come, came running. So I picked it up, let me pick it up, was purring, rubbing against me, put it down in the basement, put some food and water, just gulped it down, and I just left it down there for the night. And then when I saw this um, website, it was the one I'm going to donate and did donate to was Save a Pet. Uh, it's an animal rescue and adoption center. But anybody out there that can donate to any place, I'm not asking for any place specifically, uh, just something in your area that has a no-kill zone. Um, if you could spare anything to save an animal from freezing to death, 
or any other charity to help somebody. It's just it's time we start giving because in this world we get what we give. And maybe if we start being kinder and helping people, maybe it'll just come back to us all. So thank you for anybody out there that does it. Even if you can't, if you could share this video on your social networks or make your own and have other people that I don't have access to be aware of these situations, you know, $10 more is just $10 more a shelter may not have had and may have needed. So um, to anybody that can do it, you don't have to leave your name. You don't have to let anybody know unless you want to. Uh, like I said, it's no specific area, so I'm not like, oh, go to this one place and make donations. It's anywhere locally, and it's an, please just make sure it's a non-kill shelter. Help them out. Thanks, guys. Peace.